Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we are going to take up the MCQs which are based on today's newspaper of The Hindu and Indian Express. The topics for today's discussion are listed on your screen. Let us begin our discussion. The first question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number 14 in The Hindu. It basically talks about foreign investment in the nuclear power industry. And the context of this news is that India is considering to allow foreign investments in nuclear power industry. Invariably, it will increase the private sector's participation in nuclear power industry. Previously, UPSC has asked few questions on nuclear power and its safeguards. Hence, this area becomes important for our discussion. Back in 2020, UPSC asked about the safeguards of International Atomic Energy Agency. In this question, you need to identify the correct statement out of the given four statements. And this question can be solved by using common sense. Just try your hand on this. The practice question which we have curated has three nuclear plants and the states associated with them. In this question, you need to identify which of the following pairs is or are correctly matched. The first nuclear plant which is mentioned here is Kaga. It is a nuclear power generating station situated in Uttar Kannad district of Karnataka and not in Gujarat. Hence, our first pair is incorrect. The second one is Kakrapar. It is a nuclear power station which lies in the proximity of Tapi river which is situated in the state of Gujarat. Hence, it is again an incorrect pair. And the last one is Tarapur. And the state which is mentioned here is Rajasthan. It is again an incorrect pair because Tarapur is located in Palghar district of Maharashtra. And it was also the first commercial nuclear power station which was built in India. Hence, the answer to this question becomes D, which is none of the above. And the answer to the previous year question is B. Some nuclear reactors use imported uranium and others use domestic supplies. That's why some reactors are kept under these safeguards and others are not. The next question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number 12 in The Hindu. The context of this news is that Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has decided to rename the program for control and prevention of non-communicable diseases and to this effect the new name will be National Program for Prevention and Control of Non-Communicable Diseases. The diseases which are related to human health are important under science and technology section of our UPAC prelims exam. In 2021, a question has been asked on hereditary diseases. In this, you are being given two statements and the question says which of the statements given above is or are correct. Just try your hand on this. The practice question which we have curated says that consider the following statements with reference to non-communicable diseases. Now before solving this MCQ, let us try to understand what the non-communicable diseases are. These are group of chronic diseases that are not caused by infectious agents and typically they have a long development period. The first statement says NCDs account for the majority of all global deaths with cardiovascular diseases being the leading cause. It is a correct statement. According to World Health Organization, non-communicable diseases account for 71% of the global deaths with cardiovascular diseases being the leading cause which makes this statement correct. The second statement says India has adopted a national action plan to eliminate NCDs from country by 2030. You can easily solve this statement by common sense as it is hard to eliminate the non-communicable diseases. There are less chances that this statement is correct and for your information India is the first country to adopt the national action plan with specific national targets and indicators which aimed at reducing the number of premature deaths from non-communicable diseases by 25% by 2025. The second statement is incorrect. The answer to this question becomes A which is 1 only and the answer to the previous year question is C which is both 1 and 2. Moving on to the next question which is based on this news which featured on page number 4 in The Hindu. It basically talks about a constitutional body, the National Commission for Scheduled Castes. As you are aware, 
that constitutional bodies are important and recurring theme in UPSC prelims exam, one must be aware about each and every aspect of such bodies. The context of this news is not important as far as our UPSC prelims exam is concerned. So we will be directly moving to the practice MCQ. Also in 2017, UPSC asked about the election commission. It is also a constitutional body. In this question, you are being given three statements and you need to identify which of them is or are correct. It is again an easy question and you can try your hand on this. The practice question which we have framed says that consider the following statements regarding National Commission for Scheduled Castes. The first statement says it is a constitutional body and hence parliament cannot change its constitution. This statement is not correct. Under article 338 sub clause 2, the power is given to parliament to regulate the constitution of National Commission for Scheduled Castes, which makes this statement incorrect. The second statement says it is to be guided by the procedure laid down by parliament by law. It is again an incorrect statement. Under article 338 sub clause 4, the commission shall have power to regulate its own procedures, which makes this statement incorrect. The third statement says the report prepared by commission has to be implemented upon by the government. It is a tricky statement, but not a correct one. As it is explicitly mentioned under article 338 sub clause 6, the reports of the commission are not binding on government. Hence, all the statements are incorrect and the question is also asking about the incorrect statements. So the answer to this question becomes D which is 1, 2 and 3 and the answer to the previous year question is also D which is 3 only because election commission of India is not a 5 member body, it is a 3 member body and union ministry of home affairs does not play any role in the scheduling of elections. So by using the elimination technique, you will reach the correct answer. Moving on to the next question, which is based on this news, which featured on page number 15 in Indian Express. It basically talks about the issue of Manipur, in which Miti community is protesting for its inclusion in the scheduled tribe list. Now the status of scheduled tribe is an important one. And if any community gets that status, it will be granted reservation in educational institutions and government jobs. And it has become the major reason behind the violence which is going on in Manipur. In 2015, a question has been asked on schedules of Indian constitution. In this, the fifth and sixth schedule has been asked. And you need to identify out of these four options, which of them is correct. The practice question which we have curated says that with reference to Indian constitution, consider the following statements. The first statement says the criteria followed for specification of a community as scheduled tribe have been mentioned in the constitution. But there is no criteria mentioned for the communities for granting the status of scheduled tribe. Hence, it is an incorrect statement. The second statement says the president through notification can include or exclude from the list of scheduled tribes any tribal community. It is again an incorrect statement. Although under article 342, President with respect to any state specify the tribes or tribal communities deemed to be scheduled tribes in relation to that state after the consultation of governor. But the power to include or exclude any community from the list of scheduled tribe is given to parliament and not president, which makes this statement incorrect. And the answer to this question becomes D, which is neither one nor two. And the answer to the previous year question is A, because these two schedules deals with the protection of interests of scheduled tribes. The next question of today's discussion is based on this news, which featured on page number 12 in Indian Express. Due to El Nino's impact on upcoming monsoon, government of India has imposed a virtual ban on export of sugar. As crops is an important theme under geography section, so one must be aware about the key aspects associated with sugarcane crop. And previously in 2019, UPSC directly asked a question on Kharif crops. In this question, you need to identify the correct statements. It is an easy question which can be solved through elimination technique. Just try your hand on this. 
द प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन विच वी हैव क्यूरेटेड सेज दैट कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स द फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज इंडिया इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ शुगर केन इन द वर्ल्ड इन द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इंडिया हैज बिकेम द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ शुगर केन सो इट इज अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट सेज शुगर केन इज अ ट्रॉपिकल क्रॉप विच रिक्वेस्ट एवरेज टेम्परेचर ऑफ ट्वेंटी वन डिग्री टू ट्वेंटी सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस इट इज अगेन अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एज शुगर केन इज अ ट्रॉपिकल क्रॉप विच रिक्वायर्स हॉट एंड ह्यूमिड क्लाइमेट विद एवरेज टेम्परेचर ऑफ दिस रेंज हेंस इट इज अ करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट द लास्ट स्टेटमेंट सेज प्रोडक्शन ऑफ शुगर केन हैज इंक्रीज ट्वेंटी टाइम्स सिंस नाइनटीन सिक्सटी इट इज एन इन करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम दिस पिक्चर दैट इंडिया इज द लार्जेस्ट प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ शुगर इन द वर्ल्ड एंड देर इज इलेवन फोल्ड ग्रोथ इन शुगर प्रोडक्शन सिंस नाइनटीन सिक्सटी एंड इट इज नॉट ट्वेंटी टाइम्स विच मेक्स द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट इन करेक्ट एंड द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन बिकम सी which is 1 and 2 only and the answer to the previous year question is a which is 1 and 3 only the fourth statement says area under sugar cane cultivation has steadily decreased now such statements are generally incorrect and the moment you eliminate this and the moment you eliminate option 4 you will reach the correct answer the last question of today's discussion is based on this news which featured on page number 11 in indian express the context of this news is that iit madras has launched a survey and a website to address the mental health concerns of students it has become a major issue due to the growing number of student suicides on the campus and to deal with the problem of mental health in 2017 government of india has brought the mental health care act and today we will solve one practice mcq on that particular legislation in 2017 UPSC asked about the maternity benefit act of 2017 in this question you are being given three statements and you need to identify the correct statements on the similar lines we have curated one practice mcq which says with reference to mental health care act of 2017 consider the following statements the first statement says the act provides for the right to make an advanced directive the way the person wishes to be cared as well as the way person wishes not to be cared for it is a correct statement because the section 5 of mental health care act explicitly provides the right to have advance directive to patients hence it is a correct statement the second statement says the act has decriminalized the attempts to commit suicide by removing the section 309 of indian penal code it is an incorrect statement The section 115 talks about the decriminalization of suicide. It says any person who attempts to commit suicide shall not be tried and punished under section 309 of Indian Penal Code. So there is no such provision of removing the section 309 of Indian Penal Code. And moreover, it needs to be proved that a person who attempts to commit suicide is under severe stress. which makes this statement incorrect and the answer to this question becomes a which is one only and the answer to the previous year question is c which is three only that's all for today's discussion thank you for watching today's dpp stay tuned for upcoming sessions which will enhance your preparation for the prelims exam which is going to be conducted on 28th may 2023